that lucky guy. He's really lucky. He's uh, destined to <laughs> to be put to death already. But he just looked into my eyes and begged. He sit on his hind, just just like you sit, <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> He saw me coming and he stood up right away and begging me, you know. Three times. I pass already and come back, he does it again. So it melts my heart, you know. And all my attendants standing around it. I came just to to give some donation, yeah. And I told you already, and then the dogs, they begged me. So I took two of them. In this case, the one is also happy. Happy. They're both very grateful. Never forget. They never forget. They say they never forget. And he begs me, I'm fine. But he was so dirty, you know, my attendants stood around. And later they told me that they were praying that I don't take that dog. <laughs> they told me later, but at that time they didn't say anything. Of course, they, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> And one left the other say, you, you 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 take him, you know, you you hold, him. because because uh, he was so almost uh, black, you know, gray is black, and even wrote it officially, gray poodle. Have you ever heard of a gray poodle? I never seen one, but they they wrote it out gray poodle. After we wash him and dry him, everything, he's a white poodle. <laughs> You saw him, eh? You saw him. He's white. White, white, white. But the official paper is still written. I, I can show it to you. It's a gray. Because it was gray. It's been on the street too long and they put him on the newspaper, you know? And he smeared himself all day and he's completely gray. <laughs> Not only gray, he's a, a reddish everywhere because of the infection. It's red everywhere uh, possible and spotted here and there red all over it take, and so it was like red uh, and and gray red and gray everywhere look messy you know not just not just beautiful red spot here and then all so it was so messy i worry the doctor don't even want to take him i i dye him all together in red <laughs> you know not red but like uh, apricot like color yeah and blue, like so it's it blend in a little bit so it looked like, oh, pinky, you know, pinky, <laughs> pinky puro. I make him nice, everything, then I bring him to the doctor because it's a posh clinic, you know? I'm worried the doctor don't, don't take him. He was so messy looking. So I dye him, you know? I use a fruit. <laughs> I use fruit color. A, a harmless, you know? Fruit color, color you put in cakes and candy, you know, I use those. To, to die in. It takes three, four times until it eats in, you know? And I was very proud of my product. <laughs> ah, Eva! <laughs> Bing boo boo! <laughs> yeah, and he then come a little bit and he pop up and it looked like a Hollywood movie star. <laughs> All teeth rotten, nobody knows. <laughs> so we, it takes like three, four hours from my house to that dentist because he's, uh, he doesn't live nearby, but he's famous, famous. And my dentist, my, my vet recommend him. He's a dentist vet, you know? I recommend him, they say he's the best. It, he, if you can afford him, I recommend. <laughs> I say, I can afford, just just tell me. And then he give address and then make appointment and we deliver. Yeah. Three days, operation, recovery and everything. And then we come take him back home. Yeah. And another time, he's still sick, you know. He's always sick. But his body already very sick, so it recur now and again. And one time, I take to him to another clinic or something. I forgot. Maybe he vomited or something. And then he had to stay there for a while. And uh, and then uh, when we come take him, the doctor say he doesn't eat. So if he eats, then uh, he can go home. Mean he's normal. The moment he hear that, he jump onto the food. Eat every animal. <laughs> not yet, not yet. And the other doctor come back. The other doctor, they, he fall already. The doctor come back. Say, have you eaten? He eaten anything because he doesn't eat. He, he cannot go. So um, the we say he eat, but he say I have to see him eat. 
So he put another big can food in there. He come eat everything right from the field. Even at home, he doesn't eat like that. And before that, we tell him to eat. The nurse tell him to eat. He don't even look at it. The doctor come and say, if you don't eat, you cannot go home. And he jump and eat, 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 eat. Oh. I'm not exaggerating. I have attendants who are witness to it, you know, and he, they are still alive, and they are all very, very impressed, you know. Yeah, the dogs are extremely intelligent. If you treat them like one, you will surprise. You will be surprised. The my small Maltese, uh, when he first came. It's okay if I tell you my old dog stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You came here for Buddha and you got the dog. <laughs> you alright? Yes. Okay. I, my Maltese, he was very young, very small when I got him, you know, very young, about three months. Okay, I got him home. And after a while, uh, big first dog, don't know anything. So everybody said, you got to send him to training, you know? Okay, he go to school. Fine, we took him to the school. Ac Dogs Academy. Okay, we take him over there. They call it canine cadet, you know? Dogs, uh, they don't say even dogs, they say canine academy. All right. <laughs> yeah, they do train dog, movie star and all that over there as well, you know? So here go my dogs. Okay. Uh, he was very young, and we had to train him to do his uh, toilet on the paper, you know? On the paper from the clinic. It's about this big. It's padded paper. Yeah? And he, he still, sometimes he does it, sometimes he doesn't. So when he go to the school, I was very worried. So I said to him, you, you better take him out, you know, often, otherwise he might uh, dirty all your house. Yeah? But uh, the trainer said to me, my God, every day he go to that paper and does it there. At home he don't care, but over there, yes. <laughs> they keep him upstairs, even if he's playing upstairs with another dog. When the time he go, he go all the way down there, do it down there, and then go back up again. They were so impressed, so impressed. Okay, that was not everything. When uh, uh, the time come, like two weeks later, or I went there to collect him home. Nah? And uh, of course, uh, we are very happy and all that. But the trainer, the teacher, wants to show me what he has learned. Of course. So I said, Benny, sit. Okay, he sit. Benny, uh, go over there. He went over there. And. Uh, you know, it's far away, you know, I'm here and the trainer, like I'm there and the trainer there. But it's, we are distance, you know, like from here to the cameraman, camera over there, hey? Eh? With a green person there. Yeah, so it's a bit longer than that. Okay, from this corner to that room, okay? We stand apart so that he can show off, you know, what he has been teaching Benny. Never mind. All right. And then he tell Benny, the last one, Benny, down, I mean flat on the stomach, you know, and don't move. So he, he's flat, he wants to run to me, but he can't because the teacher tell him to be flat down, so he flat down, and then he crawl. <laughs> he don't stand on his legs, but he's flat, no, he's down, no, but he crawl all the way to me. They all cry. The attendant cry and the teacher cry. Everybody said, oh, oh, and they all cry. I was also, you know, in tears. He crawled flat, flat. Nobody teach him crawling. He, he don't stand up, no? He obeyed the, the teacher fine, but he crawled flat, sliding all the way to me. And they couldn't stop him. They just too, they just too shocked, you know, just looking. Oh, and everybody was in tears. Because he has been a favorite student there. They told me that he's very tidy. He always went to the corner there to do his uh, toilet. And he never make any trouble. He share all the toys. He don't bark loud. And he's licking them all the time. Anybody in the house, you know. Everybody come here, welcome. And you know, kissing, kissing everybody. So he was a favorite student already, you know. And when he does that, oh, everybody was in tears. 
You don't need to teach a dog. If you love him, he responds. He responds with love and he will surprise you, no end. He did that to make you proud. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. He shows always other people. Yeah, yeah. Put that into my yeah, yeah, yeah. I, he's so loving, so loving. Yeah, of course. And I thought he might have forgotten me already, you know, two weeks or three weeks training. No, he crawled all the way there to, 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 to my feet. Uh, of course, then I have to hug him, you know. <laughs> no more training. I say, forget it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I take my dog home. And, and he said, oh, your dog's so intelligent. If you allow me, I would train him more. No cost, no cost. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't have him any more second. I, I'm here to take him home. I cannot bear anymore. <laughs> oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. And he's so small but very protective of me, you know. If any dog or anybody come and make trouble, he, he growl at them. And any dog can make trouble, he go and growl and bite them. You know? <laughs> Not hard or anything, but, you know, yank at them here. And the dog back off, you know. The, the big ones sometimes, if, if they think he, if he thinks they're not obedient enough, then he go and scold them. Yeah. And when Lucky uh, uh, pee somewhere, they all scold him. Lucky doesn't see Well, okay or not, I don't know, but they all scold him. Wow, 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 all of them are there. <laughs> Suddenly everybody get up and go to him and, you know, scold. <laughs> Screaming at him, all five, all five of them. Incredible. <laughs> because they know that they, he's causing trouble. And when they're mad, maybe they also get affected. <laughs> and scold him all the time. Whenever they saw him do it in the house, oh, they go scold him. Then I know something wrong, and I go down. That's it, of course. <laughs> the reason. <laughs> yeah, they're incredible, incredible. Are your dogs like that? I have cats like that. Also, they're smart, eh? If you love them, they will show you their best. If you don't love them, they don't care. Also indifferent, okay? You give me food, uh, I give you my present, all right. I'm here, that's it, you know? But if you really love them, oh, you're connected. It's almost spiritual how the dog actually relates to you without speaking. Yeah, they don't have to speak. Well, they do speak inside, eh? Yeah. We can talk. Anyway, oh, well, I forgot already, what was it? <laughs> I suddenly forgot. Mm. We talk about cat, you know, and then I cut off the train of dogs. Oh, never mind. It's okay. You have enough of dogs already. <laughs> you came for Buddhas, you know? You came for dogs, right? Yeah. Okay, anyway, any question about dogs? <laughs> You said that there's a picture of uh, when you died, uh, your, uh, the dog in pain. It was just emergency like situation and I died quick so that I can bring him to the doctor, you know. I was too worried about his health. Everybody was running around taking care of him, you know. And we were bathing him and then, uh, you know, do, uh, cut a little hair here and there and trim him up, make it look like a somebody owns him, you know, because <laughs> I'm afraid the doctor don't take him, he, 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 he's too bad, or maybe infectious or something, you know. So we disinfect him, we, we spray him, we make all the, the smell go away, we put perfume and everything, you know. And the eyes, she smell like million dollars, you know, and then we bring it. Because uh, I don't know, that clinic take, you know, like stray dog, you see? They're so harsh, they take uh, like movie star dogs or whatever. I'm worried if my dog looks so shabby, you know? He might think I don't have money or my dog are bad or something, you know? So we have to make him look good and then bring it to the doctor. And the doctor loved him. <laughs> Put him on internet and everything afterward. <laughs> that guy, he been internet many times. Yeah, in, in dog, another dog shop. Another dog shop uh, selling for dog food. They want to borrow him also to put on internet. Yeah, because I I buy some hat for him. It was winter, you know, and I wear shoes and uh, a jacket, beautiful and cowboy hat. So he looked beautiful. Everybody said, "Wow!" Yeah, and the shop owner wants to to take picture just for talking in the internet advertising or something. Like, Why not? He's free. <laughs> And the television comes and says, oh, whose dog is that? And then they, you know, just a travel channel or something. Well, they also took, takes over his uh, 
a video is your footage of him. I don't know what they do with it. Anyway, that guy is really lucky. Yeah, he's getting a little old now, and he's better. Any more questions about dogs? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, about a year ago. Yes. I was um, I live in Madrid now. You live in where? Though? In Madrid. Madrid, yes. And I went I went to visit a friend up in the mountains. Yeah. And we were talking quite late and he took his dog out. Mm. And we found he came back with this poodle that looked exactly like Lucky. Yes. It's oh. a girl dog. Oh. And she's the same, really clever. Yes. Yes. Um, we didn't really know about her past or anything. He said, I don't know where, he sort of had an idea where she came from, but he said that maybe it was badly treated. She was, uh -huh. so he said, you have to save this dog. So mm -hmm. I took her yeah. and I think she's really happy with Oh, good, good. It's wonderful. But yeah. she's really clever too. Yes, they are very clever, Puro, very clever. I mean, all dogs are clever. Sometimes they just pretend they don't know anything. All my dogs are clever. She meditates. Yes, if I said meditation, she's yes, yes. at my feet. Pudo, very uh, this, uh, lucky, he, he's out all the time. Out, you know? But he, he didn't come from a good background, you know? He was an owl before. He has magical power, this guy. Lucky, yeah. But used for bad things because he, he was with a black magician. So he can even manifest uh, the, the toilet, the poopy, whenever he, he wants. <laughs> Even though you took him out all day and he empty all his bowels, again. whenever he, he's naughty, he want to show he upset, he does it. <laughs> Any time, and he can do it ten times again. <laughs> because he has magical power. <laughs> but also he meditates a lot now. When, when he's with me, that's it, you feel like no doctor is there because he becomes very light and his soul is gone. He doesn't even move. No matter if you put heat next to him, cold weather, he never feels anything. He's completely gone. There's, Meditates a lot. There's one funny thing is we have like, you know, like wind chimes in the house. Yeah, yeah. And if you knock one occasionally, you know, the bell sounds and like, she goes crazy. She sort of starts spinning around in, in a circle. Uh -huh. I don't know whether she's... Or maybe she doesn't like it. I don't know. She doesn't. Just a bad it's experience. Just by accident. No, bad experience in the past. Yeah. Tell him take it away. Okay? Yeah. And my dog, he, he was an owl before, you know? That's why occasionally now he doesn't bark like a dog. He still say, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yeah. And happy was a pig before. So, <laughs> even you don't believe me, if you meet her, you will see, she always. <laughs> happy, no, a picky noise. And in the night, sometimes I let them sleep on my bed already, fine, just go there. If you want my bed, go, go, go. So I meditate here. And after a while, I turn off all the light and slowly, I heard some noise and then some rushing, you know. I, I, I said, is that you, happy? She said, <laughs> In the dark, I don't see anything. I know, it's her. She does that. <laughs> and he, he stand up, you know, he sit on his... Just like the owl, the bird sits, you know? Yeah. And he loves fruit more than other dogs. Because he, he used to be a bird and he eats fruit a lot. So he loves it. He loves fruit. If you see him eating fruit, you would think he's, he's a rabbit or something. <laughs> yeah. He eats fruit more than anything. Any time of the day, 24 hours, even if he's full, or he had fruits already for dessert. If you give him any fruit, he eats it like he never seen anything in his life. <laughs> And because of him, every other dog also eat fruit and they all eat fruit. Yeah. Before, Goody don't like fruit. Benny don't eat fruit. You know, everybody, nobody eats fruit and now everybody eats fruit. Yeah. All kind of fruits we give him. Yeah, we give him vitamin also. And uh, all kind of dessert. Yeah, dessert uh, the one uh, low calorie and all that, not too much sugar. But happy, she eats anything and she survives. She's so fat, we call her Gordita, I mean fatty. <laughs> but, but she's so cute, you know, fat but cute. Before she was skinny and now she's fat. Triple chins and <laughs> when she laid out all the flat flows alongside. <laughs> like double, double that flows alongside. When she walked, everything here hanging. <laughs> 
uh, we have so much fun with her because we make fun of her and all that. She don't care as long as you give her beer or some, <laughs> yeah, cakes, you know, anything human like, anything human eats, she eats. <laughs> no matter bad or good for, she don't care. But she eats anything and she survives. But we don't give her, you know, those uh, forbidden food. But now and again, but you can you you cannot refuse her. I drink some little beer, you know, non ago, and she she stand down there and she's drooling. <laughs> so loud, and then drink a lot and eat a lot, and then at night sleep and snore in the whole house. Oh, she snores so loud. This girl is something of sensuality. She's all for physical level. <laughs> she eats them all and more. Never enough. Every other dog stops, you know, bigger dog and fatter, bigger, but don't eat that much. And she eats like four times they do. And, <laughs> and beer she drinks the whole. You know, I drink beer mixed with um, lemonade. One can of beer, one can of lemonade, or seven up something. And if I mix it together, it becomes two cans. She drinks them all. And one time. And non stop. You can't even drink that because you have gas. And you have to stop. You know, you drink a little two, three mouthful, and then you stop. But no, not her. <laughs> Until the last drop. She don't stop to breathe. I say, Happy, are you breathing? <laughs> she don't even hear nothing. <laughs> drinking, 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 drinking. I don't know any human who can even do that. <laughs> Other dog cannot drink like that. He drink maybe a little bit, and then the gas hit their tongue, and they said, eh, you know. Okay, okay, I can, and I will come back again. <laughs> Two, three mouthful the most and stop and if want to drink come back again. But this girl, no, she keep drinking like like a pumping machine, you know? Not so. Yeah. She don't stop to breathe or to, to have a break or nothing. She continue, continue, continue until it's finished. And ask for more. She can drink four cans. In one go. And then a few few minutes or half an hour later, if you give her more, she still can drink it. <laughs> and go out of the garden, come back and drink again. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> no other dogs like beer. And they just taste, you know, a few mouthful and that's it. But she drinks and drinks and drinks like a fish. My goodness. <laughs> Oh, talking about dogs, <laughs> they're so special, and she's so beautiful, so beautiful. It's so pretty as well, you know. It's so beautiful here. She loves me so much. I'm so grateful, you know. All the house loves her, but she loves me the most. She don't care about who loves her or not. Okay, if you love me, fine. I play with you, but she knows who, you know. It's so sticky. It's, I cannot leave her too long, you know. That's why she buys me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pining yeah, pining, yeah. <laughs> okay. Any more questions about dogs? <laughs> yes. Yeah, behind the apple. Yeah. Yeah. So when we came here, it was so fantastic when your dogs came to say hello and welcome. It was like a... You mean here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not my dog. No. Yes. They welcome you, eh? Wonderful, huh? Yes, and <laughs> it was fantastic when when she, I don't know if it's she or he. Yeah. But uh, the I thought. The medium size. Uh, I, but I only remember is her uh, eyes yeah. because they were y small, yellow. The Buddha's dog. <laughs> okay, uh, that's why. Okay. The lady Buddha's fantastic. dog. Fantastic. Yeah. And the other dogs uh, have been here already, right? And then you just adopt them along. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's good. I feel good. No, feel at home, eh? Feel at home and some dog. Welcome you, eh?